wake up. It's time for the thing. You remember the thing? You remember, don't you? Are you ready for some good news? I mean, if you're just going to lay there like a lump of black cotton, I could get Wilhelmina to do this. Anything? No? Anyway, first up, let me introduce you to some of modern medicine's newest weapons against disease. Researchers at Rice University, Durham University, and North Carolina State University have worked together to create single molecule nanomachines capable of drilling through cell membranes. The machines are powered by rotors, which are activated by ultraviolet light, and can spin at a rate of up to 3 million rotations per second. These motorized molecules are only around 1 nanometer wide and can be customized for specialized functions. The researchers designed some to deliver drugs and others to simply pierce cell membranes and kill targeted cells. In laboratory tests, the motors were able to kill prostate cancer cells in a matter of minutes. The motorized molecules are being prepared for their next round of testing. The Rice, Durham, and North Carolina State researchers who created them hope they will someday find applications in a wide range of therapies. The paper is published in the journal Nature. I mean, I know Wilhelmina lives in Norfolk, but I will drive down there and get her, okay? If you're just going to lay there like that. <sighs> next up, a new study provides the first in-depth analysis of human echolocation. Echolocation allows animals to perceive objects in their environment by emitting sounds and then listening to the echoes of those sounds. Bats and dolphins use it very efficiently, so do other animals, including some humans. Researchers at Durham University and Birmingham University studied three blind adults who have been using echolocation since they were teenagers. Despite not being able to see with their eyes, Echolocation enables them to move freely through unfamiliar surroundings, even to ride bicycles and go on hikes. They accomplish this by making clicking sounds with their mouths. The researchers recorded thousands of mouth clicks made by their subjects in various environments. Using the recordings, the researchers created a mathematical model that can be used to generate synthetic mouth clicks in an effort to understand how their echolocation process works. Learning how human echolocation works, and how best to teach it to people, could result in some very good news for the estimated 40 million blind people in the world, many of whom struggle to live independently in a world made by and for sighted people. This study is published in the journal PLOS Computational Biology. Next up, researchers may have found a new treatment for treatment-resistant depression. Depression affects 300 million people worldwide. Around 100 million of those people suffer from treatment-resistant depression, or TRD, a form of depression that doesn't respond to psychotherapy or antidepressant medication. But there may be some hope yet for those living with TRD, thanks to a new study from South Korea's Yongnam University Hospital. The study found that patients with TRD responded to neurofeedback therapy. Through neurofeedback, patients are shown a video display of their brain waves and taught to change them through concentration. After 12 weeks, 8 of the 12 TRD patients included in the study had responded positively to the neurofeedback therapy. Five of them had responded so well that their depression was classified as in remission. The researchers stress that this was a small study and those whose depression went into remission still need to be observed to see if those effects will last. So don't look for neurofeedback to become a standard treatment for TRD quite yet, but for now it does hold a great deal of promise for treating a form of depression that until now was seen as untreatable. This study was presented at the 30th European College of Neuropsychopharmacology Congress for Applied and Translational Neuroscience. And finally, just a quick one here at the end. Remember that solar eclipse a few weeks back? You want to see what it looked like from the moon? This image was taken by NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter during the solar eclipse on August 21st. That big dark spot over eastern North America is the shadow of the moon. 
Pretty cool, huh? So what have we learned other than a stuffed animal could literally do your job? Well, we've learned that motorized molecules can deliver drugs and kill cancer cells. Researchers look at how some blind people utilize echolocation and neurofeedback shows promise as a treatment for treatment resistant depression. That's the good news. Oh, now you wake up at the end to clean yourself. That's perfect. Anyway, hi folks. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also please consider helping us to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.